If it were as simple as saying, I have If it were as simple as saying, I have, I currently have 22.5 pounds of warm red, 7.5 pounds of rubin, and I'm adding to it 2 pounds of reflex blue, it'd be very easy for us to calculate that formula. We'd add these up and then divide. Let's, let's look at that. Actually, what, what is that, okay? So, 22.5 plus 7.5 plus 2 equals 32, which is the, the original 30 pounds plus 2 pounds, which is 32, right? Okay. Easy, no problem. Then we take uh, each one of these, 22.5, 22.5 divided by 32 equals 0 0.703. And let's express our ratios to three decimal places. And 7.5 divided by the 32 equals 0 0.234 and 2 divided by 32 equals 0 0.062, okay? And now sometimes we have a little rounding error here that this should add to uh, add up to 1, by the way. We have 7, 8, 9. Uh, we have another 9, and then we have another 9, 0. So we're off by 1. I'm just going to give that 1 to one of these. So I'm going to give it to this bottom one right here, and that'll line up to 1.000. Okay, if you didn't follow that, rewind it and, and, and play it again. So now, here are my ratios for these colors. If all I did was to the original 30 pounds, added two pounds of reflex blue to bring that color, but here's the reality of it. Uh, okay, that's one scenario, and, and, and maybe if you leave it in the press and you tell the operator, add two pounds of reflex blue to that, and the only thing you've done is printed um, a few samples and stuff like that, where you can negate whatever ink has been consumed and say that that is your, your formula for that, right? But we're going to complicate it a little bit. Let's say that uh, you wanted to have a pristine condition every time and you flushed out the system every time you change color. So some people do that. So now what happens is that the, the amount of ink returning is less than the original 30 pounds that went out there. So now it gets a little bit more complicated. Maybe let's say that 28 pounds come back. Well now the, rate, the portion that belongs to each one of the base colors is less. So that two pounds that we would add of the reflex blue is not being added to 22.5 pounds of warm red, but a little bit less of that and a little bit less of that. So that makes it a little more complicated, so that's why we're going to do that, do it that way, and we're going to look at it, okay? Now, but before we do that, I wanted to point out one thing here so you can see that the math is consistent. Now, in this case, we've, uh, we've left the original amount of 22.5 and 7.5 warm red and rebeam red, and we've added to it two pounds of reflex blue. And notice, whereas when we were only considering this, we had ratios of 0 0.75 and 0 0.25. We now have ratios in the total where we've added the two pound reflex of less than 0 0.75 for the rubine and less than 0 0.25 for the warm red because the, at the addition of the reflex blue brought both of these down proportionately, okay? So that's consistent with what we would expect to happen at this time. All right, so now let's go into the scenario of uh, the more complicated scenario.